Hi guys, this is Nikash here. As I've already explained the logic for this problem, I'll just go over the description quickly once and then start writing the code. In a row of trees, the i tree produces fruit with type tree of, tree of i. So you start at any tree of your choice, then repeatedly perform one of the following steps. First step is add one piece of fruit from this tree to your baskets. If you cannot, just stop. And second step is move to the next tree to the right of the current tree. If there is no tree to the right, stop. Okay. So we'll have a basket for oranges, we'll have a basket for apples. So you, you can't have a basket where you have one orange and one apple. Okay. So every basket will contain a unique fruit, which is of a particular type. But it can contain n number of oranges or n number of apples. So let's uh, start writing the code now. So we need five different variables. Int of last fruit this will be initially minus one. Int of second last fruit we need count of the last fruit. Count last fruit initially zero. We have current max to zero and we have max maximum. Okay, now we need to start picking every fruit from the input array. So for auto current fruit from tree. Okay, so now every time you pick first condition is you need to check if current fruit if it is equal to last fruit or current fruit is equal to second last fruit let's make it second last fruit okay so if it is equal then we need to update our current max it will be incremented by one so if not in the else case We need to update our current max with current max is equal to count of last fruit plus one. Okay, the second condition is if our current fruit is equal to last fruit, then we need to increment the count of our current fruit. So one. So else we need to just equate to one. So this is our second condition. The third condition is we need to update our second last fruit as well as the last fruit. So we compare if current fruit is not equal to our last fruit, then we update our second last fruit and current last fruit be equal to last fruit and last fruit will be equal to current fruit. And then we update our maximum variable. So maximum is equal to max of maximum para maximum comma current max. That's it. So here if you can see we haven't used any extra memory. We return maximum. Okay, let's run it and see if it passes for the oops, we have some error. Okay, so it passed for the base case. Let's submit and see if it passes for all the test cases. Looks like it did. So this is one of the important problems asked in the Google interviews. Um, if you need any help with preparation for interviews, please do let me know what in what way I can help you guys in the comment section below. Until then, keep learning every day. Thank you. Bye-bye.